So the question is, two cars are 500 centimeters apart. Each is moving forward 100 centimeters at a velocity of 50 centimeters per second and receding back 50 centimeters at 25 centimeters per second. At what time they will collide with each other? So this is a contrary operated question on speed, time and distance and more on relative velocity. Uh, again, more of logical reasoning is also there. So any aptic question is more of logical reasoning. You will understand how to do it. So that is what is logical reasoning. Understanding how to do it is what is very important. Then comes your formula whether it is applicable or not. So here it is more of logical reasoning but it can be classified as speed, time and distance and relative velocity. So what happens is uh, many students have asked me, sir, the direction is not uh, given, how will they collide? See, whenever the directions are not given, it is your duty to make it collide whenever the question is asking so. And for example, both the cars are moving forward. People are not clear about what is moving forward. Say, I am from Chennai. When I go uh, from Chennai, I am going towards Madurai. My friend is staying in Madurai. He is coming towards Chennai. For me, my forward direction will be from Chennai to Madurai. For him, his forward direction will be from Madurai to Chennai. For me, my forward direction is from Chennai to Madurai. For him, his forward direction will be Madurai to Chennai. So we are travelling in the opposite direction. That is what is happening here. So the cars are 500 centimeters apart. The cars are 500 centimeters apart. Each car is moving forward 100 centimeters at a velocity of 50 centimeters per second means first second this will move 50 and, and the next second will move 50. So what is happening is this is 50, this is 50. So it is moving 100 centimeters in 2 seconds. 100 centimeters in 2 seconds. Because 50 plus 50 will be 100 centimeters forward, then it is receding back 25 centim 50 centimeters at 25 centimeters per second. So this will be 25, this will be 25. So another, it will be coming back 50 centimeters in 2 seconds. So overall, what is happening is overall, what is 100 minus 50, this is moving only 50 centimeters in 4 seconds. The speed of the car is 50 centimeters in 4 seconds. First of all, second, 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 third second, fourth second. So 100 minus 50 will be 50 centimeters per second. This the same thing is happening with this star. This is moving 50 and 50 again, receding back 25 and 25. So this also will be moving 50 centimeters in four seconds. This also will be moving 50 seconds, 50 centimeters in four seconds. So I just say the speed of the car is 50 centimeters per second. I don't say anything else. I just say the speed of the car is 50 centimeters per second. Opposite direction is always plus. Opposite direction, both these cars put together will have to cover 500 centimeters. Both these cars put together will have to cover 500 centimeters. So in 4 seconds, both the car will be covering 50 plus 50, 100. That is relative velocity. Opposite direction is always plus. So what happens is 500 divided by 100 into 4 will be 20 seconds. I don't tell anything. I just say the speed of the car is 50 centimeters into 4 seconds. Then the answer will be 500 into 100 divided by into 4, 500 divided by 100 into 4 will be 20 seconds. See, opposite direction is always plus. So, I don't, don't tell anything, then the answer is 20 seconds. But here, the car is moving forward and receding back. So, it can't be 20 seconds. Once there is an accident, what happens is, both the car and the man are gone, or otherwise they will keep on shouting, there is no question of going backward or forward. So you have to make it collide exactly, you have to make it collide, the bumper bumper you have to clash, then you, once it collides, there is no question of moving backward or forward. So what I do is, I will keep this 100 centimeters the forward of the first person and the second car for the last two seconds going forward. This 100 and this 100 will be only for the last two seconds going forward, it need not have to come back. So from 500, I will be minusing 100 of the first car, this is minus, and then another car minus 100. So what happens is, this, both these cars will be covering 300 centimeters. Now I use the relative velocity concept. So 300, so it will be 300 divided by 100 into 4 will be 12 seconds. 300 divided by 100 into 4 will be 12 seconds. I don't uh, know what happens is because I have kept this 100 and this 100 only for the last two seconds going forward. I don't have to come back. So only 300 have to be covered. We use this formula. 100 divided 300 divided 100 to 4 will be 12 seconds. In 4 seconds this car is moving 50 centimeters. In 12 seconds this will move 150 centimeters. This also will moving 150 centimeters. 
the next two, two seconds what will happen is this will go 50 plus 50 forward this will also move 50 plus 50 forward it will be 100 and 100 so both the cars will be covering 250 250 the bumper bumper will collide bumper bumper will hit each other so what happens is the time taken for the cars to collide will be 12 plus 2 14 seconds don't give the answer as 20 it is 14 seconds the answer is 14 seconds subscribe to my channel i'll be adding questions every now and then